look so pretty going out tonight I've been missing your smile You should come and stay a while Fly a couple miles, let's go out tonight Oh, you've been running through my mind all day Yeah, you give me everything I need Hey guys and welcome back to my channel I love that you're here today, seriously I love that you are here, alive, and well. I want to be honest with you guys and tell you that I have not felt like myself lately. I felt lost, unmotivated, stressed, and just honestly unfulfilled. I don't have the same career as I normally have the past four years. I've moved to cities. I don't feel passionate about my health and fitness anymore. And all of these things together have landed me in a position where... I just don't feel my best and when I don't feel my best, I don't feel like taking care of myself. I think with summer dying down and fall arising, new beginnings are starting and I'm supposed to be starting something new, but I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. I want to be excited and happy and eager to set new goals to achieve, but I find myself wanting to spend time alone in bed and eating. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Of course, I had avocado toast for breakfast again. I mean, I feel like at this point, I need to start every video off with avocado toast. So I think it's just gonna be the new tradition. Another busy week of work, I work every single day this week, Monday through Saturday until I get a day off on Sunday and my family's gonna be here. So I'm gonna take you through it all again and hopefully give you some meal ideas and keep you entertained and you know, my secret weapon. A whole lot of skeeter. Say hello everyone! He says you got any food for me? <laughs> While I have you here, you better give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hang out with me. I post videos every Sunday and if I don't happen to make it on Sunday, it's definitely up on Monday. So come on for the ride and let's look at some more food. Alright, so it's 2 o'clock. You may have noticed I washed my hair finally. Um, I picked up a shift tonight for 4.30 so I am going to go to the gym and then bring something to eat because my gym is like kind of by near I work so there's no sense in coming back so I'm just going to gym, eat, and then work. So I made a sweet potato and red lentil curry the other day and then I have some cilantro rice. Curry is like the best thing to meal prep because it stays good forever and it only gets better. But because red lentils are a pretty meh source of protein, going to cut up some tofu as well. So I just did a little salt, pepper, cumin, and smoked paprika on there. Also going to take a piece of naan. There we are, topped with some more cilantro and crispy onions. Just got home from work. Carter made bagels and used peanut butter, so I'm eating the rest out of here. Mm. Well, me and Keats were sharing. Okay, I honestly have heartburn, so I wasn't like really craving anything to eat, but also kind of wanted something like light and crisp. So, a salad it was, and then fried up some chickpeas and fake chicken burgers to put on top. podcast and they mentioned tacos and even though it's 10 30 in the morning i want a taco found these the other day meatless farm so it's basically a beyond burger but a little less fat so i'm happy about that so we're gonna try one of these out i've mentioned in the past briefly that i used to binge eat it would take over my days i would sneak to find food sometimes things that i didn't even enjoy and eat until i literally make myself sick and throw up and i found that sneaking up on me again this week it's odd that I'm announcing it on here and not going to anyone for help, but I guess I'm embarrassed. And sometimes it's easier to not need to face people face to face. It's something I thought I'd be and I thought I had control over and honestly, I can't believe it slithered back into my life. For some reason, it's a coping mechanism for me. Food brings me satisfaction, but it also brings me anxiety when I eat too much of something bad. 
I sometimes think, well, I can eat too much and just get rid of it later, which is the most toxic relationship to have with food. And I think exploring my thoughts here and sharing it could hopefully help me and hopefully help somebody else if they have ever went through or are going through similar things. All right, I'm not exactly sure how to try and eat this. It's more like an open face taco, so I feel like I should use knife and fork, but I'm gonna try and take a bite. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Mmm. So good. Obviously, the naan's a little thicker than you'd like, but that's why I think cutting it is going to be good too. It's going to be really filling because of that naan. Mm-hmm. Side note, living with your boyfriend is finding empty boxes in your freezer. Wait. I think this is still the best thrift store mug I've ever found. Like this little like cozy hole is just so cool. It's not that this binge eating or my eating disorder has become my new normal again, but it took me by surprise that I was even inclined to binge this week. 85% of the time I still eat well and listen to my hunger cues, which has taken me so long to understand. But that other 15% of the time, even if I didn't do it, I was thinking about it. And that's what scares me. Because wrestling with your inner demons is one of the hardest things to do, no matter the circumstances you're in. We argue with ourselves all the time about what's right and wrong to do. And eating disorders are so much more mental than physical. I've journaled that this is going to be my adjustment period. It's not that I've dismissed everything that's important to me. It's that I need to realign myself with what I believe is important to my life. I need to set goals I'm excited about and I need to take my health seriously again so that I can nourish my body and my mind. I'm obviously no professional in this field, but I do know that talking about it and reflecting on it is what is going to help eating disorders because to just sit with ourselves in the mud is going to make it worse because it's hard to get out of that toxic mindset if we don't have somebody else telling us sometimes that it's okay and they understand and they'll be there for us. Okay, this is actually what I'm taking to work but I need to have a bite now, obviously, just to make sure it's good, you know? Uh, it's good. <laughs> I also probably might need to start talking to my psychiatrist again because clearly this is something that I thought I had under control and maybe I don't. And I think that's totally fine as long as I acknowledge it and understand that I should probably find another way of coping with my insecurities and problems. Good morning! Just got home from grabbing a couple groceries and I just want to say my checkout lady was so nice and we should all do our part to be more kind to strangers because it just like completely uplifts your whole day. Anyway, this is what I got. A couple different yogurts. I'm really excited to try this one. Sweet potatoes, mushrooms, tomatoes, frozen blueberries, strawberries, and then I'm so excited to try these. Vegan pizza pops! If you're one of my few friends that know the joke about me and vegan pizza pops, then you'll be excited for me. But now I'm having like a complete dilemma of what I actually want for breakfast. Ugh. This is why it's important to wash your mushrooms because they grow in the dirt, okay? There's dirt on them. Okay, so yes, maybe I am having avocado toast again, but it's really satisfying, so I got to use up the rest of my cherry tomatoes, the rest of this bag of spinach, and the rest of this egg protein. So that's just like, I love that feeling of like using things up. It's also really hard to want anything else when I have fresh bread. Hello, Skeeter. Good morning. Did we have a nice walk this morning? Yeah. Gorgeous. I just had to take a break from eating my favorite meal in the world to grab my camera to tell you something important. So you know that this is important. My bread recipe is phenomenal. So if you have not tried it yet, go onto my Instagram, find the recipe, make this bread because it's just like homemade bread. Like there's no comparison, you guys. You gotta do it. 
I bought a new dark chocolate to try, coconut ones. Let's give it a go. And look, one is broken off for me. It's very, very rich. Like, one piece is completely enough. It's good though. Just did some yoga and now it's time for curry. I have not been like consistent with my yoga practice at all. And I always forget like how much I love it when I'm on it. And I held one of my best inversions today, which is not like a lot, <laughs> but considering I haven't done it in a long time, I'm pretty happy I held it for like five seconds, I think. So go me. Okay, so I'm having half a piece of naan bread and my curry. No rice today, cause I don't want it. And I just want my naan. Plus there's like sweet potato and red lentil in here. So it's just like super filling already. going to be 28 here right away and this is a problem that people of all ages and all body sizes and all genders deal with and that's kind of scary because somebody super close to you might be dealing with a similar issue and we won't even know it because because of this embarrassment and unwillingness to talk about it okay so i work at five tonight and I'm gonna take this yogurt bowl with me there and then I also have some granola and puffed rice to sprinkle on top and this is the granola that I'm using. And so yeah, I gotta go get ready now. So like, you know, my, my wallet never leaves my back pocket unless I'm... So, home from work. I have the rest of those wings that I got yesterday. I know, so weird. I don't know who I am, but like, I was craving them. I only had two yesterday and I had the rest today. And carrot sticks and then I also, had some hummus with my carrot sticks. I'm just like not quite satisfied, but I'm not starving. So I'm going to have some of that yogurt that I made. <laughs> finished work and I needed a donut because dark side donuts has been posting their like features and stuff and oh, I just needed them like look at these they're also huge like I can't even explain it to you so I got a blueberry crumble and a carrot cake and I'm just too excited I can't wait till I get home all right which one should we do first the blueberry crumble I think is calling my name like literally the size of my head oh my god Just one moment for the donut gods, please. Wow, it's just so fluffy. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'll wait till I get home for the carrot cake. I honestly feel like I'm already doing a bit better right now because I've taken the time to sit with it and think about how I feel after these episodes happen, which is terrible. I feel disgusting and worthless and like I let myself down. And it's not that I am any of those things, but it's just one of those mindset things and mind just wants to play tricks on you and almost take advantage of how you're feeling leading up to those situations. Okay, Carter was supposed to come and taste test with me and he went to work and isn't gonna do it. So me, the myself. So it's carrot cake donut. She's a beauty. I'm the biggest carrot cake fan in the world. And I think the blueberry one was better. But I wanna get some of this filling in there too. Like, it's really good. But the blueberry one was just like immaculate. I'd give the blueberry one a 9.25 out of 10, just because I think there could have been a little bit more jam or if it was filled. 
you know? And this one, I think it'd be like a 6.5. I mean, it's good, but blueberry one was. And it's just happening because I guess in other parts of my life, I'm not where I thought I wanted to be or I'm not where I thought I was going to be. But I've had to sit with myself and tell myself that that's okay. And I have so much time to get to all these places and do the things that I want to do. And I will feel better. And that this is just temporary and food is not the answer. There was a little bit of mold on these noodles. So I picked off the ones that look good. So if I get sick, you know what it's from. Not the prettiest meal, but it will be delicious. Camera died, so here we are. I wish it was a bit more saucy, but the flavors are still super good. Mm, I just thought of what it needs crunch so cashews boom i don't know what's wrong with me i have all the cravings for sugar and carter's not finishing this donut so i'm going to mm. i'm trying to focus more on what's good and what i do have the power to change and take control over and that's what's really helping me right now and so I would encourage anyone out there that's struggling, whether it be with eating or anything else in your situation, it could be financial things, it could be location, it could just be as simple as not doing well with your friendships or your job or things like that, but focus on what you can control and harness your energy into that because that's what's going to affect everything else that you do and hopefully by making an effort to put your energy into something that you can control is what will help you in other aspects of your life. I want to feel cold in the morning Stealing covers off of me And I don't even need a warning Cause girl I won't go back to sleep I just want to feel you on my chest Savor in each breath I want to drink wine in the evening Singing all our favorite songs And I don't need to chase a feeling Cause you already knocked the edge off And I just want to dance around the room Loving only you Oh, every imperfection, every scar Not a thing could change the person you are My lover, baby It's already flying by. Flying by. I wanna be close when you need me, but no one else could understand. And when we have a house and a family, I'll still hold on to you. I'll still look you in the eyes like the first time. <laughs> oh, every imperfection. Change the person. Oh, my love.
baby, you always be perfect to me. Every conversation. It's moments like these that I want to focus on. Sunday brunch with my family, surrounded by love and good food, and not thinking twice about it and just being able to enjoy it. And that's really as simple as it is, but somehow we get caught up in our heads sometimes. And that's fine, but we just got to find our way back out, right? So this is me just wishing to you guys that you're doing well and taking care of yourself and your body and doing what's right for you and I love you. you they apparently decided we needed to take home the cake so now obviously I'm inclined to eat it am I really complaining though? my baba made me pushed so we have some pushed and also a little bit of this marinated vegetable salad left over from last night after eating mostly bread from the Mr. Pretzel place today and cake, veggies just taste so good. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to eat my borscht and call it a night. So thank you so much for watching the whole video, guys. Hope you got some food ideas, learned something, and just enjoyed yourself. And don't forget to show yourself some compassion, love, and understanding because you deserve it. We all do. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.